so here is the R50, the, my favorite camera. This is the reason why Micro Four Third is that why OM5, EM5 Mark III have a very bad video quality over sharpening. This is a camera to get. Micro Four Third is dead after the launch of R50. Amazing camera, amazing camera, amazing tiny camera. The reason I get over R7 is that I wanna carry with this one. But anyway, 60 millimeter f 2.8, 200 dollar lens. Later I can get a R8 and I can use it a full frame lens. Again, a lot of people think 60 millimeter you have to times 1.6 like no, you don't have to times anything. 60 millimeter full frame six if you are using a full frame 60 millimeter on an APS-C it remains 60 millimeter. Again, it remains 60 millimeter as a APS-C. So for example, like I mean you are getting a Fuji film 60 millimeter f 2.8, so it's like that. This 60 millimeter becomes 60 millimeter. So it's 80 millimeter, right? It will be a little bit wider than this one. But now if you want to find out the full frame equivalent on full frame 60 millimeter is 60 millimeter as full frame but on APS-C it becomes 60 millimeter but if you wanna ask like how much is 60 millimeter back into full frame so okay this is 60 millimeter APS-C but now this 60 millimeter in the APS-C now let's find out the full frame equivalent 1.6 crop is the crop factor is become 25.6 25.6 is not APS-C this is full frame factor you understand what I mean? 60 millimeter full frame, 60 millimeter remain 60 millimeter full frame, 50 millimeter remain 50 millimeter. So here we go. So a lot of people are saying there is no lens, no lens, and then so can then 200 dollar lens official lens. 200 if you go to the, wanna get the future film lens around 500 dollar i think it's 500 dollar right let me let me let me just see okay let's see fuji 60 millimeter f 2.8 bh okay a 400 dollar lens a 400 and this is 200 dollar lens huge difference huge difference okay let me just do a test okay okay for, i just want to do let me put into av and turn on and 80 millimeter okay okay let's go to the 4.5 aperture can you see okay there's no card for this card what, what can i shoot Okay, one minute. Okay, let, let okay just just let me just do this canon, okay? As a, as a guide. Ah uh, yeah. So so the ISO is ISO sixty four hundred, okay? Let me play back info. 4.5 ISO 6400 okay ISO 6400 okay this is very important ISO 6400 with 4 for this lens but if you want to if you want to travel you want to travel you want to shoot some brighter picture you want to make some YouTube videos then get the 60 millimeter f 2.8 you only need three lens in the beginning okay four lens 10 to 18 18 to 45 60 millimeter f 2.8, 50 millimeter f 1.8. Okay, now let's see. Let me just close. I don't want to get any dust inside. Okay, look. Let's see. Let me go to f 2.8. Okay, look. Now let me show you f 2.8 180 shutter speed iso 4000 same f 4.5 iso 6400 so of course now you understand why the iso is lower right super tiny i really wish it was like more compact again this is a cup size lens not a pancake lens but this is again a must buy subscribe and buy